Sorry, Sam Smith. Lady Gaga totally won the Oscars last night. J Law's interesting evening, and more today on. Oscars themed episode today. It's a leap day. Does that mean it's your lucky day? Don't forget, tomorrow's also your lucky day because Tour Group, my new show on Bravo, premieres at 10 p.m. so soon. As promised, Lady Gaga performed at the Oscars last night, introduced by none other than the VP, Joe Biden. She did her Till It Happens to You sexual assault awareness song for the film The Hunting Ground. It was powerful, personal, emotional, tear jerking, and a statement of a performance. Tell me what the hell do you know? What do you know? Simple, elegant, white piano. And if that wasn't enough of Gaga belting her heart out, violins come in and then the survivors come in. And stand there still. Cue Rachel McAdams bawling in the audience. <laughs> Some people think this performance was too dramatic for the Oscars. Some people thought that this brought the tone of the night down. It was sort of like a buzzkill. I commend Gaga for using her spotlight to do good in general and at the Academy Awards to bring awareness to something that's bigger than her. Sam Smith won Best Original Song over Gaga, but who's everyone talking about today? Insta, OMG. Lady Gaga posted this shortly after her performance on Instagram. I never thought anyone would ever love me because I felt like my body was ruined by my abuser, but he loved Loves the survivor in me. He stood by me all night, proud and unashamedly. That's a real man. It's her and her fiance, Taylor Kinney, of course. You know what I hate though? This is sort of a one side discussion. Why does he never talk about her? We get to hear all her always gush about him, but I want to know his side. Relationship goals I want a man that I can talk about, like Lady Gaga talks about Taylor Kinney. Had to throw in this picture of Gaga meeting Caitlyn Jenner last night, even though I'm pretty sure they had already met before. Weird is king. Jennifer Lawrence was so not Jennifer Lawrence at the Oscars last night. She showed up late. She didn't walk the red carpet. She didn't fall. She looks amazing. I'm actually obsessed with her outfit for once. She did so good. Who are you? And I want that hairstyle. <laughs> Now for some after parties. Gwen Stefani was to me the best dressed at any after party. She's hanging on to Blake Shelton at the Vanity Fair party and I want that dress. Taylor Swift looks very elegant in black and understated, but not understated. She did great. And Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel also on the carpet at Vanity Fair were just too cute for life. Uh, I want to be them as well, both of them. Happy day after the Oscars. Did you like my little recap? Do you have a favorite part of the show last night? Clearly mine was Lady Gaga. Leave a comment down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, Misty Kingma, for Be Your Selfie Show. It's every Monday through Thursday. Do you.